Well, hello, Kelka students and general seekers of truth. We will continue our learning of antiderivatives with an example that involves initial conditions. And initial conditions basically means some, some extra information about a function. So it's better to look at an example. Given that the derivative of some function is equal to 3x squared plus 5, and that f of 3 is equal to 4, find an equation for f of x. Well, let's start by uh, getting the antiderivative here. So we would know just from working backwards, f of x would be equal to x cubed plus 5x plus some sort of constant. Now, um, normally we would be done, but we're given additional information here. So we need to apply it. And the additional information here is given to us to find uh, exactly what C is equal to. Well, we're going to plug in these numbers. So this is basically saying when X is equal to 3, F of X is equal to 4. So we're going to plug in 4 for f of x, 3 for x, and use this information to uh, help us find the constant. So this is 4 is equal to 27 plus 15, which is 42, plus c. So that means c is equal to negative 37. So our final answer is that f of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x minus 37. And you can check this for yourself, you know, uh, let's just do a very quick check here. It's not too hard. f prime would in fact be equal to 3x squared plus 5. And f of 3 would in fact be equal to 3 cubed plus 5 times 3 minus 37. This would be 27 plus 15 minus 37. 30, 27 and 15 is 42 minus 37 is in fact equal to 5. Ooh, good thing, good, good thing we checked this because this is a terrible arithmetic error. So this C here should be negative 38. Negative 38. This would make way more sense. There we go. Now that would work. 27 plus 15 is 42, minus 38 is 4 is our final answer. So a quick example of how to use an initial condition. So with some additional information, we can find all the details that we need about a particular function. I'm going to um, create one more video on the next page where we see a practical use of antiderivatives.